Hello, my name is Mattia Bellini from the University of Tartu, and today I'm here to talk briefly about my paper for more organization and complex responses to video games narratives. In the paper, I conducted an initial analysis of the relationship between two aspects of narrative complexity, the former organization and the audience response. But first of all, what is narrative complexity? In a very basic sense, we can say that it's an unconventional structuring of narratives and the impact that these complex structures have on the mind of the recipient. And it can be regarded as having three aspects, namely the systemic, the formal and the complexity of response. But as I mentioned, I'm particularly interested in two of them, namely the formal complexity and the complexity of response. So formal complexity regards the organization and patterning involving a multiplicity of elements and their connectivity and variety. And already from this definition, we can identify two different subtypes of formal complexity. Uh, a qualitative feature, the organization and patterning, and a quantitative one, the multiplicity of elements. On the other hand, the complexity of response uh, regards the response of the audience to a narrative representation from a cognitive point of view. And symptom of the complexity of response is the above average cognitive challenge posed to the player. And I want you to keep this in mind because it will be a central point for the contrastive analysis I'm going to propose. Indeed, I took as a case study specifically two games. One is Halo 3, very famous and popular video game. And one is Halo 3 ODST, much less famous and also less popular. I will not touch here upon the reasons why I chose these two, but I expand on them in the paper. And what I did with them is, at first, I compared their formal complexity to see if I could find differences. And uh, to do so, I relied on the technique of close reading. So what I found from a quantitative point of view is that Halo 3 has a single plot with two playable characters one timeline and one event told at a time, while Halo 3 ODST has a multiplot structure with uh, five playable characters, seven timelines and the synchronic telling of multiple events. From a qualitative point of view, Halo 3 presents a natural flow of time and cause-effect relationship, uh, a straightforward organization of the narrative and uh, one story presented at a time, while Halo 3 ODST has multiple flashbacks to different moments in time, which permits effects to be uh, presented before causes. Uh, it has an hypertext-like structure and uh, present layer stories. So from this, uh, I can conclude that Halo 3 ODST is more formally complex, both quantitatively and qualitatively than Halo 3. Uh, for this reason, what I expect is that Halo 3 ODST should produce a more complex response in its audience compared to Halo 3. And to investigate whether this is true or not, I relied on crowdsourced uh, users' perspective under the form of game reviews. So for Halo 3 ODST, I had a set of 2044 reviews from Steam, Metacritic and Amazon and on this I conducted a manual qualitative analysis, basically I read them. While for Halo, for Halo 3 I had 4,833 reviews from the same platforms and after a partly automated filtering I conducted the same um, analysis. What I was looking while analyzing the reviews were considerations of players about the story of the games, the storytelling strategies employed, and confusion and misunderstandings related to narrative comprehension. And notwithstanding some limitations of this analysis, I can find some interesting insights. Uh, for Halo 3 ODST, 22 uh, reviews of my set uh, detected incoherence or fragmentation of the narrative, uh, complicatedness and confusion while accessing it which means that the required cognitive effort was too high for these 22 reviewers. On the other hand, only one reviewer of Halo 3 reported confusion while accessing the narrative, and I should note that at least another one noticed an ease in understanding the narrative. Therefore, the required cognitive effort was much lower for Halo 3. So from this analysis, 
I could uh, verify my hypothesis. The formally more complex narrative of Halo 3 ODST corresponded to a more complex response of the players. Uh, this was shown by the higher occurrence of cognitive dissonance, of misunderstandings and of incomprehension of narratives. So from this study, I could conclude that the story of Halo 3 ODST is more complex than the one of Halo 3, but also that complex response could be predictable, at least to some extent. And finally, that narrative complexity could be a factor in creating more engaging stories for video games. And uh, you, you can find further elaboration on this on, directly on the paper, which I encourage you, of course, to read. Uh, these are my main references for this presentation. And thank you for your attention.